His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. In the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized the inauguration of the third session of the sixth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils. Upon His Majesty's motorcade arrival to Isa Cultural Center, His Majesty was accompanied by police cavalry. Upon arrival, His Majesty was received by the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Lamsalam, and the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh. After that, the Royal Anthem was played. His Majesty then headed to the main conference hall at Isa Cultural Center. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله ورعاه 
أصحاب السمو أصحاب المعالي والسعادة أيها السيدات والسادة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته يشرفنا أن نرحب بكم أجمل ترحيب في حفل الافتتاح لدور الإنعقاد الثالث من الفصل التشريعي السادس لمجلسي الشورى والنواب the ceremony began with the recitation of verses from the Holy Quran. يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما إنا عرضنا الأمانة على السماوات والأرض والجبال فأبين أن يحملناها وأشفقن منها وحملها الإنسان إن كان ظلوما جهولا ليعذب الله المنافقين والمنافقات والمشركين والمشركات ويتوب الله على المؤمنين والمؤمنات وكان الله غفورا رحيما صدق الله العظيم His Majesty then delivered the royal speech on this occasion. Malik Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Malik al Bilad al Muhaddam, Hafizahu Allah wa Ra'a. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa Salatu wa Salam. Ala Rasulillah, Sayyidina Muhammad. Wa ala Alihi wa Sahbihi Ajma'in. Ayuhal Ikhwa wa Lakhawat. Ala al Majlis al Muakkarid. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته على بركة الله نفتتح أعمال دور الانعقاد الثالث للمجلس الوطني في فصله السادس إذانا ببدء مرحلة جديدة من الحياة البرلمانية التي يعمل مجلسكم الموقر على رعاية أعرافها وتقاليدها الدستورية وتطوير مسيرتها التشريعية ضمن أفق مفتوح لكل ما يتم التوافق عليه ويؤمن مستقبل البلاد ونهوضها الحضاري وها نحن ومنذ انطلاقة العهد قبل خمسة وعشرين عاما نلتزم بما نظرنا النفس بالعمل بمقتضاه وكما أجمعت عليه إرادتنا المشتركة لصون مصالحنا الوطنية العليا في دولة المؤسسات والقانون التي نفخر اليوم بمعمارها التنموي المتجدد وبمجتمعها المتآلف والتواق للمزيد من التقدم ويطيب لنا في هذا المقام أن نثني على الجهود الدؤوبة لفريق العمل الحكومي بقيادة ولي عهدنا الأمين رئيس مجلس الوزراء صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة حفظه الله وبارك في مسعاه الذي يسجل بصماته المؤثرة في ميادين الخدمة العامة 
بانتهاج أفضل الممارسات الإدارية والتنظيمية ولضمان أجود الخدمات الحكومية ونؤكد في هذا السياق على أهمية استكمال الخطط المنبثقة من رؤية البحرين الاقتصادية عشرين ثلاثين التي تشهد نتائجها تطورا ملحوظا وتعكسه مؤشرات الأداء والتنافسية وطنيا ودوليا ونوجه هنا لتسريع العمل على نسختها القادمة للعام عشرين خمسين لتشمل تصورا متجددا لمستقبل بلادنا وأجيالنا للحفاظ على موقعها المتقدم كدولة ذات نهضة عصرية تلتزم بقيم شريعتها الإسلامية وبكل ما يوثق روابطها القومية ويحصن هويتها الوطنية كعنصر أصيل للتنمية الشاملة والتربية الوطنية المبكرة ومن منطلق اهتمامنا الكبير بهذه الأولوية الوطنية فإننا نوجه الجهات المختصة بتنفيذ دراسة متكاملة لقياس جاهزيتنا في تأصيل الهوية البحرينية لضمان اقتباس كافة عناصرها أينما توجهنا وبما يمكننا من ضبط التوازن بين متطلبات الانفتاح والتجديد وبين اشتراطات حماية أمننا الوطني في صيقته المتكاملة وخصوصا ما تعلق بأمن ثرواتنا الطبيعية وسبل استثمارها لتأمين المستقبل المستدام بخيرات ويطيب لنا على هذا الصعيد أن نعرب عن ارتياحنا للجهد المبذول لرفع مستويات الأمن القذائي والثروات الطبيعية وفي توظيف التقنيات الحديثة كالذكاء الاصطناعي ونوجه هنا إلى تكثيف برامجه في القطاعات الحيوية وفق النظم والمعايير اللازمة للارتقاء بعلومه ومعارفه ولتنمية عوائده لتعود بالخير والرفاء على الجميع كما نبارك كل ما يبذل على صعيد تواصل بنائنا الحضاري المتسلح بعزيمة وطنية صلبة تجسدها قواتنا العاملة سواء في الخدمة المدنية ليقدموا أفضل أشكال البذل والعطاء أو على ساحات الخدمة العسكرية ليخطوا أروع صور التضحية والشهامة فهم عيوننا الساهرة في الذود عن الوطن وحماية مكتسباته ولا يفوتنا كذلك بأن نشيد بالإنجازات الرياضية الأخيرة والمتمثلة في حصول مملكة البحرين على عدد غير مسبوق من الميداليات الأولمبية فشكرا لهم جميعا والتحيا بهم بحريننا الغالية الأخوة والأخوات تلتزم مملكة البحرين بكل ما يملي عليها واجب التضامن والتعاون لنصرة القضايا العربية وبالسعي الجاد والحثيث من أجل خير الإنسانية وتقارب مجتمعاتها تحقيقا للسلام العالمي الذي يجب استعادته في مثل هذه الأوقات الصعبة ولقد أكدنا مرارا على وجوب الوقوف الفوري للحرب في قطاع غزة وباستئناف كافة المساعي الدبلوماسية للأخذ بالحلول السلمية وصولا لتحقيق السلام العادل والشامل والقائم على حل الدولتين وفق القرارات والمبادرات التاريخية التي يجب الإيفاء بها وبالتالي فأن فضل الاشتباك أصبح ضرورة قصوى بعد أن طالت نيران الحرب الدائرة أراضي لبنان الشقيقة 
وعلى أطراف النزاع التنبه لخطورة الانجرار لحرب شاملة لن تحمد عقباها ونجدد على هذا الصعيد دعوة مملكة البحرين التي تبناها الاجتماع الأخير للقمة العربية لعقد مؤتمر أو اجتماع موسع وعاجل يعيد الأمل في تحقيق السلام المنشود وفي ظل هذه الظروف الإقليمية الصعبة فأننا نحمد الله على وحدة وتلاحم مجتمعنا البحريني الأصيل وبما يتمتع به من وعي وطني مسؤول يجعله أكثر تماسكا وإصرارا على تعزيز سلامته الوطنية وليزداد قوة ومنعة مهما اشتدت حوله المخاطر وأننا لننظر بعين الثقة والتقدير لدور السلطة التشريعية في سن وتطوير التشريعات اللازمة والمجسدة لقيم الوحدة والعدالة وللحفاظ على ثبات مسيرة التنمية الشاملة بإنجازاتها المضيئة ليتم توارثها جيلا بعد جيل وختاما ستبقى البحرين وكما هو العهد بها عونا وسندا لأشقائها وأصدقائها وستظل نموذجا متحضرا في حفظ الحقوق وحماية الحريات بعون المولى عز وجل وبفضل الروح الوثابة لأبنائه وبناته في تأدية واجباتهم الوطنية كما تبقى راية الوطن خفاقة على ساحة المد والرفعة والله ولي التوفيق والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته After that, the Representative's Council Speaker delivered a speech thanking His Majesty for inaugurating the event, which coincides with Bahrain's celebrations of the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty's accession to the throne. Ilm Salam noted that Bahrain reached advanced stages of development and is working towards a prosperous future based on His Majesty's vision. He said that the legislative authority is guided by His Majesty's vision to advance legislation in Bahrain and enhance its role in achieving the interests of the country and citizens through cooperation with the government headed by His Royal Highness. He noted that His Royal Highness's support has been influential in the path of cooperation and has accelerated development locally and enhanced Bahrain's position regionally and internationally. The speaker said that the legislative authority will work with the executive authority to face challenges by putting the interests of the nation above all, to achieve the goals of economic recovery plans, fiscal balance programs, creating quality job opportunities, continuing innovative housing initiatives, and developing government services to secure a better present and future. He said that the current directors in formulating Bahrain's Economic Vision 2050 emphasizes Bahrain's entry into a new phase of comprehensive development progress. He also affirmed the Council's readiness to employ its constitutional tools to provide an attractive legislative environment for promising investment and development opportunities, support efforts to raise levels of food security, invest natural resources, employ modern technologies and specialized programs, and promote strategic partnerships with the private sector. He expressed commitment to collaborate with the government in implementing directives aimed at strengthening national identity and security. He said that there is a determination to further develop measures within parliamentary diplomacy aimed at engaging with regional and international parliamentary unions to support the initiatives endorsed by the 33rd Arab Summit in Bahrain, which called for an international conference for peace in the Middle East that holds the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people and facilitates the establishment of a Palestinian state in line with the international resolutions and the Arab Peace Initiative. The speaker emphasized that parliamentary diplomacy is committed to further promoting GCC action, Arab and cooperation, and Islamic solidarity. He said that in the upcoming period of parliamentary diplomacy, it will focus on further advancing the objectives outlined by His Royal Highness during his speech at the UNGA. Al Salam said that Bahrain's achievements in sports have been prominently showcased under the patronage of His Royal Highness. Notable accomplishments include His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa earning the title of the 2024 World Endurance Championship, highlighting Bahrain's commitment to excellence in sports. Additionally, Bahrain secured four colorful medals at the Paris Olympics, reinforcing the status of Bahrain in the Arab region. 
The McLaren Bahrain team owned by Bahrain Momtelekat Holding Company also achieved advanced positions in the Formula One World Championship. He said that these accomplishments serve as a testament to national pride and excellence, while also confirming the effectiveness of sports investments that support economic diversification. Ilm Salam praised the role and contributions of the Supreme Council for Women, led by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Council, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, for their initiatives and quality programs that significantly advanced Bahraini women. He also hailed the brave soldiers of the armed forces, acknowledging their sacrifices and efforts across all units. Ilm Salam praised the workers in both the civil service and private sectors for their contributions. He renewed allegiance and loyalty to His Majesty with prayers for continued security and prosperity for Bahrain. بالواجب الدستوري ووفاء للعهد والقسم بوضع مصلحة الوطن فوق كل اعتبار وذلك بتسخير الجهود من أجل المضي قدما لتحقيق أهداف خطة التعافي الاقتصادي وبرامج التوازن المالي وخلق فرص العمل النوعية واستمرار المبادرات الإسكانية المبتكرة وتطوير الخدمات الحكومية من أجل تأمين حاضر ومستقبل أفضل للأجيال الحالية والقادمة أن التوجه القائم في صياغة رؤية البحرين الاقتصادية 2050 يجعلنا أمام استشراف وطني يؤكد دخول مملكة البحرين في مرحلة جديدة من مراحل التقدم التنموي الشامل في ظل تسارع الانفتاح على سياسات تخدم الاستقرار المستدام وتمكن المساعي من المعاقمة مع المتغيرات ومتطلبات المرحلة القادمة وتحقيق السبق في الطرح والإنجاز المستمد من الفكر السديد لجلالتكم والذي يشكل الرهان الدائم لتحقيق الغايات الوطنية السامية وفي هذا السياق فإن المجلس الوطني متأهب دائما لتوظيف أدواته الدستورية من أجل توفير بيئة تشريعية جاذبة للفرص الاستثمارية والتنوعية والواعدة ودعم الجهود الرامية لرفع مستويات الأمن الغذائي واستثمار الثروات الطبيعية وتوظيف التقنيات الحديثة والبرامج المتخصصة وتعزيز الشراكة الاستراتيجية مع القطاع الخاص صاحب الجلالة أن مضامين الخطاب السامي الذي تفضلتم به جلالتكم اليوم سيشكل برنامج عمل لنا في الفترة المقبلة وسنعمل جاهدين بالتعاون مع الحكومة لتنفيذ توجيهاتكم السامية من أجل تعزيز الهوية الوطنية وحماية الأمن الوطني خاصة في ظل الظروف الاستثنائية الراهنة التي تشهدها المنطقة والعالم والتي تستوجب الحرص على ترسيخ الوحدة الوطنية والتماسك المجتمعي وظهار الولاء والانتماء الوطني وفي ذات المسار نعقد العزم لوضع الإجراءات اللازمة في إطار الدبلوماسية البرلمانية للتواصل مع الاتحادات والمنظمات البرلمانية الإقليمية والدولية من أجل الدعم وتبني مبادرة جلالتكم حفظكم الله ورعاكم والتي قررتها القمة العربية الثالثة والثلاثون قمة البحرين بشأن الدعوة إلى عق واستضافة مؤتمر دولي للسلام في الشرق الأوسط لدعم الحقوق المشروعة للشعب الفلسطيني الشقيق وإقامة الدولة الفلسطينية وفقا لقرارات الشرعية الدولية ومبادرة السلام العربية كما تحرص الدبلوماسية البرلمانية على تعزيز العمل الخليجي والتعاون العربي والتضامن الإسلامي فيما ستباشر الدبلوماسية البرلمانية في الفترة القادمة الترويج للغايات النبيلة لدعوة سمو ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظ الله في الكلمة التي تفضل بها نيابة عن جلالتكم خلال المناقشة العامة لاجتماعات الجمعية العامة للأمم المتحدة والهادفة إلى قرار معاهدة دولية لتنظيم وحكمة تطوير الذكاء الاصطناعي لضمان أن تسهم هذه التكنولوجيا في تحقيق السلام بدلا من تفاقم النزاعات صاحب الجلالة إنما حققته مملكة البحرين في ظل رعايتكم السامية ودعم ومتابعة سمو ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء في مجال الرياضة يعزز من مكانة مملكة البحرين عالميا ويدعونا جميعا للفخر والاعتزاز خاصة بما يرتبط بالإنجازات النوعية وما حققه فارس العالم سموه الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة ممثل جلالة الملك للأعمال الإنسانية وشؤون الشباب قائد الفريق الملكي للقدرة في نيل لقب بطولة العالم لسباق القدرة 2024 مشيدين بالإنجاز الرياضي الدولي لمملكة البحرين في تحقيق الصدارة العربية في أولمبياد باريس 2024 بنيل أربع ميداليات الملونة بجانب ما يحقه فريق مكلارن البحرين المملوك لشركة ممتلكات البحرين القابضة 
ممراكز متقدمة في بطولة العالم لسباقات الفورمولا واحد للسيارات حيث تعد تلك الإنجازات ولله الحمد برهانا للتميز الوطني وتضاف إلى سلسلة النجاحات والإنجازات المشرفة وتؤكد الاستثمار الرياضي الناجح والداعم لجهود التنوع الاقتصادي وزيادة مصادر الدخل وتطوير مسارات العمل وخلق آفاق فرصا متجددة كما يسرنا أن نجيب بدور سهامات المجلس الأعلى للمرأة برئاسة صاحب السمو الملكي الأميرة سبيكة بنت إبراهيم آل خليفة قرينة الملك المعظم رئيسة المجلس الأعلى للمرأة حفظه الله وما يقدمه المجلس من مشاريع ومبادرات وبرامج نوعية وفق خطط واستراتيجيات وطنية ساهمت في تحقيق تقدم المرأة البحرينية معربين عن بالغ اعتزازنا للجهود العظيمة والتضحيات الخالدة لجنودنا الواصل في القوات المسلحة بكافة أجهزتها وكوادرها والشكر واجب وموصول إلى جميع العاملين في قطاع الخدمة المدنية والقطاع الخاص ختاما نجدد لجلالتكم حفظكم الله ورعاكم العهد والولاء سائلين الله العلي القدير أن يعني يديم على مملكة البحرين الأمن والأمان والتطور والازدهار ولتبقى راية الوطن في ظل قيادتكم الحكيمة شامخة في سماء العز والرفعة والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته كل عام وانتم بخير ان شاء الله <تصفيق>
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of His Majesty's inauguration of the third session of the sixth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils. His Royal Highness commended His Majesty's speech delivered during the session. He highlighted that the speech serves as a guide for continuing the comprehensive development process under His Majesty's leadership, aimed at achieving progress, prosperity, and evaluation elevation for Bahrain at all levels. His Royal Highness reaffirmed the government's commitment to ensuring that royal directors remain the foundation for all national development programs and plans. He emphasized that these directors motivate everyone to continue their efforts in achieving national goals. He added that the government is dedicated to implementing His Majesty's orders promptly, particularly in advancing plans derived from Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. This includes initiating an integrated study to assess the readiness of the Bahrain identity, ensuring all elements are in place to protect national security, especially concerning natural resources and sustainable investment strategies. His Royal Highness affirmed that the government remains committed to His Majesty's vision of enhancing food security and managing natural resources and that government initiatives will increasingly integrate modern technologies including artificial intelligence across vit vital sectors to advance scientific knowledge and boost revenue streams his royal highness expressed gratitude for his majesty's recognition of the government's efforts and his majesty's endorsement of the unwavering national resolve demonstrated by those serving in civil and military capaci capacities is a source of pride and a catalyst for further dedication and service of his majesty and bahrain his Royal Highness reaffirmed that Bahrain's accomplishments across various fields stem from His Majesty's steadfast support and commitment to ensuring Bahrain remains at the forefront of progress. He added that this success is a collective achievement of all members of Team Bahrain who will continue to advance development goals for the benefit of Bahrain and citizens. His Royal Highness expressed honor in reaffirming loyalty to His Majesty and pledged to implement His Majesty's wise directives and fulfill his aspirations, dedicating all efforts towards achieving prosperity, growth and advancement for Bahrain. He prayed for the continued health and happiness of His Majesty to remain a source of pride and support for the country and its people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a reply cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa following His Royal Highness's congratulations on the occasion of His Majesty's inauguration of the third session of the sixth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils. His Majesty the King emphasized the appreciation to His Royal Highness, which reflect a commitment to Bahrain's approach and national values. He highlighted the importance of advancing comprehensive development and achieving prosperity for Bahraini people. His Majesty reiterated the readiness to implement visions and directives to into actionable national programs that align with these goals. His Majesty noted His Royal Highness's focus on continuing efforts derived from Bahrain Economic Vision 2030, as well as preparations for the Economic Vision 2050. This includes strategies aimed at reinforcing Bahrain identity and safeguarding national security, all while adhering to a reformist framework that guides national action. His Majesty underscored the collaborative spirit in pursuing sustainable growth and development, ensuring that Bahrain remains on a path towards progress and stability. His Majesty expressed confidence in achieving more successes thanks to the concerted efforts of His Royal Highness and the citizens of Bahrain and the strong partnership between the executive and legislative authorities. He expressed great pride in the achievements and developments made and the continuous efforts in all fields to achieve the aspirations and ambitions of all. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Speaker of the Representatives Council Ahmed Lam Salam on the occasion of His Majesty's inauguration of the third session of the sixth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils. Lam Salam expressed pride in His Majesty's leadership during this significant event. He emphasized that the royal speech serves as a guiding light for Bahrain's path towards development, aligning with His Majesty's aspiration to serve Bahrain and its people. The Speaker affirmed His Majesty's unwavering support for the Representatives Council, which fortifies their commitment to fulfilling their responsibilities. He prayed for His Majesty's continued health and happiness to continue leading the kingdom towards further pros prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh on the occasion of His Majesty's inauguration of the third session of the sixth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils. Al Saleh thanked His Majesty for the inauguration, hailing his speech on the occasion. He pledged to His Majesty to continue consolidating the national fundamentals and working with diligence and dedication. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty with good health and happiness to continue the march of prosperity and development. A number of ministers and officials attending the opening ceremony of the third session of the sixth legislative term praised His Majesty the King's royal speech for praising the efforts of the government team. Uh, I was honored today to uh, uh, be part of uh, the participation in the inauguration of the new parliamentary cycle. Uh, the government of Bahrain is so keen in cooperation with the uh, legislative uh, authority represented in the uh, parliament. 
there are a lot of things that uh, we're working to do together. Uh, with regard to education, for example, there are a lot of uh, projects and programs that the Ministry of Education will be discussing with the members of the Parliament. Um, we want to show full support um, to uh, showing the cooperation between both parts. And we look forward to uh, achieving our targets and goal set by the government of Bahrain in coordination with the parliament, of course, in the coming days. So as the American ambassador, it's a true honor to be here at the opening of parliament. And this kind of a ceremony really shows Bahrain's commitment to democracy. His Majesty the King spoke beautifully and he laid out his vision of the future of the country and then, of course, all of the members of the government, the members of the parliament were here, and they're going to uh, take on his vision and then implement it. For me, as a guest in your country, this is a fabulous event. It makes me proud to be here. Yeah, I think it was a very important speech uh, about uh, national unity, about peace in the region, and about the responsibility of the parliament to work on continue to unite the nation, follow up on the peace uh, message uh, that His Majesty uh, also gave through the summit of the Arab League uh, back in May. So uh, I think there's, there was a lot in that speech that uh, just strengthens the character of a peace-loving nation of Bahrain. And uh, I'm really looking forward to working with Bahraini diplomacy and with the parliament on, you know, contributing whatever Germany can contribute to this work. His Majesty the King's inauguration marks the beginning of a new phase in the march of democratic and legislative work in the kingdom, as the royal directives are the basis for the march of national action for all authorities and institutions in Bahrain, especially the legislative authority. More on this report. The royal patronage of the opening of the third session of the sixth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils underscores the great attention of His Majesty the King that he pays to the process of construction and comprehensive development, one of the most prominent aspects of which was the march of the National Assembly in the two councils. His Majesty's speech carried a clear and precise roadmap to guide the members of the National Assembly and illuminate the paths of work and areas of development and modernization to achieve the advancement, growth and prosperity of the Kingdom of Bahrain in various fields. The successful facilitation of the work of both councils confirms that the path is on the right track. The integration of efforts of the cooperation of the authorities, which led the kingdom during the past years to achieve great legal and legislative development, laying the foundations for a brighter future and opening the horizons for future generations to make more achievements based on a solid foundation of scientific and practical experience in the legislative fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Speaker of the Representatives Council Ahmed Lamsalam following the opening of the third session of the sixth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Chairman of the Shura Council Ali Saleh following the opening of the third session of the sixth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the U.S. Representative for Massachusetts 6th District Congressman Seth Moulton at the Bibiya Palace. His Royal Highness affirmed the long-standing Bahrain-U.S. relations which continue to consolidate through strategic partnerships and bilateral agreements such as the recently signed Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement. He underscored the importance of furthering multi-sectoral collaboration to meet mutual aspirations. The meeting also covered the least regional and international developments. His Royal Highness stressed the U.S. role alongside allied countries and safeguards security and peace, contributing to the prosperity of all. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa and the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa received the representative of the State of Massachusetts of the U.S. Congress, Seth Moulton. His Highness emphasized that the relations between the two countries are moving towards further development in light of their historical strategic relations. For his part, Moulton thanked His Highness and wished him further success. The meeting covered shared interest and recent regional and international developments.
The Shura and Representatives Councils held their first procedural sessions in the third session of the sixth legislative term. The sessions included speeches by the heads of the two councils and the reading of the royal order to convene the two councils. More on this report. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has officially inaugurated the third session of the sixth legislative term for the Shura and Representatives Councils in Bahrain. This event marks an important step in the country's legislative and national efforts, highlighting His Majesty the King's strong support for the legislative authority, which plays a crucial role in further promoting democracy and governance based on law. His Majesty the King outlined a new roadmap aimed at achieving legislative success and fostering growth in Bahrain. His Majesty's vision emphasizes the importance of advancing the nation under wise leadership, focusing on development across various domains. In his address, His Majesty the King expressed determination for national action that will further enhance legislative work and open new avenues for prosperity and progress in Bahrain. This reflects a commitment to further improving the Kingdom of Bahrain's legislative framework and ensuring democratic principles are upheld. The cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities is witnessing advanced stages of partnership, which made Bahrain an internationally acclaimed and pioneering model. More on this report. The supreme national interest in serving citizens is the unifying forum for all national efforts. Therefore, the executive and legislative authorities work with joint consensual visions to build on the successes achieved to support the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty the King. Strengthening the work between the two authorities is the building block on which the pillars of development are based, represented in supporting national initiatives that contribute to the growth and prosperity of the Kingdom through communication with all official and civil institutions and the various components of Bahraini society. Because the interest of citizens is always a priority, the members of the legislative authority in their ongoing meetings with ministers and officials are keen to enhance the living stability of Bahraini families by optimizing the investment of financial resources and directing support to the most deserving groups. National gains were made thanks to the support of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, who always calls on the executive authority to support the legislative authority. With the determination of national cadres from Team Bahrain, development paths are moving at an increasing pace, making achievements and successes that reflect the endeavors aimed at implementing the government program 2023 to 2026 with the highest standards of quality and efficiency. Bahrain's successes in overcoming many challenges and reaching advanced levels in the fiscal balance program and the economic recovery plan proves that the joint work between the two authorities made the Kingdom of Bahrain the focus of international praise at all levels. The 7th International Maintenance, Reliability and Asset Management Conference, Maintcom 2024, kicked off at Exhibition World Bahrain under the title Enhancing Asset Management Capabilities for a Sustainable Future. The Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Dayna, said that the organization of the conference comes in line with policies aimed at developing these important areas in the oil sector. He emphasized the importance of this international conference and its exhibition as a platform to discuss the latest technologies in the field of maintenance, reliability and asset management, in addition to the exchange of information, experiences and studies among industry leaders and professionals in these fields. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Waqf Nawaf al Maouda announced that the Ministry has completed the development of 25 services in several directorates and implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to develop 500 government services and 24 government entities.
An Arab economic report forecasts that exports in Bahrain will rise to 15.81 billion BD or 5.8 percent compared to last year. The report of the Arab Investment Guarantee and Export Credit Corporation said that exports are also expected to rise in 2025 to reach 16.42 billion, a 3.6 percent increase. The report indicated that imports in Bahrain are also expected to rise to reach 12.76 billion this year, an increase of 5.9 percent compared to last year to record a trade surplus of 3.66 billion dinars. The 33rd edition of the Bahrain International Music Festival witnessed Bahraini artist Mohammed Abdelrahim perform at the Bahrain National Theatre. The Bahraini artists presented performances that are part of the timeless Bahraini cultural heritage in a musical journey full of nostalgia from the past. Mohammed Abdelrahim is a renowned artist who started his career in the 80s and participated in many concerts in Bahrain and the Arabian Gulf, in addition to performing a group of songs from Bahraini TV series. <laughs> 